Welcome back, my beautiful friends. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. In our Hello Open Metaverse segment brought to you by Animoca Brands, we have such a treat lined up for you tonight. We're going to be joined by Alan Lau, Chief Business Officer at Animoca Brands, live from the New York Stock Exchange. Alan and I discussed Animoca's incentives to effectively onboard Web3 builders and users. We chatted where the crypto market is heading and the possibilities surrounding the blockchain. Check it out. Welcome, my beautiful friends. I'm your host, Zen San, here on FinTech TV, live from the iconic New York Stock Exchange, right here in downtown Manhattan. In just a few, I'll be joined by Alan Lau, Chief Business Officer at Animoca Brands, a global leader in blockchain games. Animoca Brands' valuation remains at roughly $5.9 billion. According to a recent statement by co-founder Yatsu, Animoca Brands is aiming to grow its portfolio of companies by more than 30% by the end of this year as it doubles down on investments in what is being touted as a quote-unquote crypto winter. While the reputation of the crypto industry has been tarnished by a number of scandals over the past year, from the collapse of the FTX exchange to the bankruptcy of several crypto lenders and hedge funds, other areas of the market, such as blockchain and trading of non-fungible tokens, are in fact seeing significant amounts of activity. Animoca is currently invested in more than 380 companies with no signs of stopping anytime soon. Joining me now to chat all about Animoca's incentives to effectively onboard Web3 builders and users, where the crypto market is heading and the possibilities surrounding the blockchain is the amazing Alan Alao. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you. Great to be here. Thank you so much for coming here. Okay, well, let's jump in. Alan, please talk to me about what you feel the biggest possibilities in Web3 this year will be and what should investors really be eyeing. Yeah, I think there's clearly more optimism going into 23. Um, if you look at NFT and crypto prices, I think people are willing to look past the mess that is 22 and you know just look around them. And clearly, there are great builders. You know, there's a lot of great products out there. So you know, I think there's a good momentum coming in. Um, I, I think we'll be looking for a couple of things in 23. And one is around blockchain games. Uh, and you know, there are companies like Yuga Labs, uh, already a leader in the industry, that is starting the year with a bang with uh, with the game uh, Dookie uh, da Dash, which you know. I think it's generating a lot of excitement. Um, you know, I, I, 22 is also a year where uh, a lot of seeds were sold in game development. So I think we're going to see a lot of great games coming out. So blockchain game is a sector I think we're very bullish and excited about. The second thing is I think Web3 is going to go beyond gaming. I think this is a year where we're going to see there's going to be Web3 element in music and entertainment and sports. You know, two of the companies that Animoca invested in, uh, one of them is Pixelink, and we're building the music metaverse together with Pixelink. And with TinyTab, we're trying to decentralize education. Education, you know, working with uh, already a leader in Web2 education. So I think we're going to see Web3 going beyond gaming. And, and I think the third thing is there's going to be a lot of brands, um, the, the like of Starbucks, Nike, Disney coming into the market. Uh, I, I think we'll make people sit up and pay attention. Uh, so I think 23, you know, we're looking for all those signs. And I think those are important things for us um, to, to look out for. These are extremely important things. I know you guys are always at the forefront of what's going on in the market. And actually, according to your co-founder, Yad Tzu, in a recent statement, he said he also hopes to strengthen Animoca's business in places such as uh, the Middle East region, uh, Japan. I know you guys talk about South Korea. You're also in the process, congratulations, um, of raising a $1 billion fund. That's extremely exciting stuff. And the fund is to invest in metaverse and blockchain firms. Uh, so talk to me. That, this is not just something that you guys woke up one day and said, hey, this is you know, what we're going to decide to do. You have been looking at the market, tracking investments, making sure that you're aligning yourself with the right properties mm. uh, and, and more importantly, the right relationships mm. throughout the industry. And it's extremely important that, that you are doing your due diligence mm. and making yeah, sure that um, you have the ability to keep the bad actors out. You know, when you look at what has happened in the industry, like FTX and the collapse of that exchange, mm. 
you don't want to leave a sour taste in investors' mouths. And you guys have done such a good job uh, being at the forefront and leaders in this industry. So I take my hat off to you. Okay, so moving on. Digital assets um, have recently soared. I mean, they've recently soared to the highest level since August. We've seen the market uh, with crypto prices really back up to where they were before FTX's disastrous collapse. Uh, and now their they're tr traders are calling what something might look like this new bull market coming in the horizon. Um, Alan, talk to me. What do you feel is necessary for this uh, for us to really, really start to feel that this bull market could in fact be taking place? What are the triggers that we should be looking for? Yeah, I think it starts with a shift in spotlight, and I think that's happening. People are looking away from Wall Street crypto, you know, which has all the issue around it, especially around centralized exchange and focusing on tech crypto again, which are all the people that are using blockchain as a technology to build and transform industry. Um, and, and I think within that, one, once that spotlight shifted, people will be looking for a couple of things, right? I mean, one is um, the adoption by a, a, a lot of users. So people will be looking for large community, right? It's not just 10K, 20K, but really mass adoption at the million level, right? So, you know, I think that will generate excitement. More use cases, you know, as we mentioned, blockchain game is clearly one that's been proven already, but it could be music sports, education, so the more use case adoption. And then I think the final thing, again, it, it always helps is when big brands come in, when Starbucks, Disney, Square Enix come in, people are always going to sit up and say, hey, we've got to pay attention to this. And that's an important part of education. So I think, you know, in 23, I think all those will happen. We'll be looking for those signs. And, you know, I think, you know, we've got strong momentum going in right now. Um, it, it should be a much better year than 22. It's all about education, especially, I know that Animoca Brands is all about edutainment and educating not only the community, but really talking about the best use cases for blockchain, gamification, even tokenization. I know you guys have an incredible yeah. department, head of tokenomics, yeah. Mohammed and Aldeen. Yeah. Big shout out to Mohammed. Uh, but, but right now there's, it's all about incentivizing Web3 builders and users to really onboard. And that's what we've really been talking about in the last couple of weeks. We've seen the launch of a brand new, very exciting platform called Mochaverse. Please talk to me about what Mochaverse is and, and how this idea is really helping bridge the builders, the users, and really giving back to the community. Yeah. So Mochaverse is Animoca's first membership NFT collection. We, it really is a way of saying thank you to our OG supporters, everyone who supports us through our growth journey, our investors, our employees, companies that we invested in, in our portfolio, and also holders of Animoca issued tokens and NFTs. Um, th so the, the idea is, you know, we're going to be creating an NFT that we give as a token of our appreciation, but it's also our commitment to say, let's come together as a stronger community, as a closer community, and doing more together. And I think this is really special because this is a collection where it's not just one company building utility, it's not just Animoca, but it's, you know, the 400 companies that we have in our portfolio. So, you know, right on day one. So there's a lot of rich utility around playing together, learning together, doing good together and building together. So we've got four different areas that we want to engage the community um, to do this. So, you know, what we've launched recently is we've announced that we're going to mint uh, next month in February. And uh, before that, we've already engaged token and NFT holders of Animoca issued uh, uh, tokens before. And, you know, some of them hold Rams tickets, which they are already trading on OpenSea right now. It's a Polygon NFT, which we give them a chance to win a Mochaverse NFT. So, you know, we can see that it's already top 10 at OpenSea. It's a lot of excitement. So we can't wait for, for us to really start the Mochaverse journey next month. I know it's all about getting on that Mocha list. Yeah. And I was exploring uh, a little bit uh, the website a mochaverse, mochaverse.xyz and I went onto the realms right. and I looked at the different realms and I looked at the different tribes right. and I actually put my seven-year-old daughter mm. on the website yeah. and she started going through the profile. She wow. was very engaged. So what, what I came to realize is that you guys have come up with such a creative way to unify, again, through mm. animation, gamification, mm. amazing visuals, yeah. amazing concepts, but it's the engagement. It's keeping that community engaged, yes. keeping them loyal, mm. and once you're controlling communities, which you guys have done so effectively well mm. over all the portfolios mm. um, that, you, that, you, that you're, you're acquiring, but even when you're looking at why your valuation is where it is, it goes far beyond far beyond mm. just the, the 380, 400 yeah. companies that you've invested in. Yes. It, it's about a mindset. Mm. It's about a mentality. Mm. It's about yet paving the way and then choosing the right soldiers mm. and the upper tier management who 
were, like yourselves, like like Rob Beyond, like you know Mohammed, like your incredible entire amazing department, Daf Chow, right? I mean, you look at these incredible uh, uh, individuals that are working within the company that are all exemplary in their own way. Uh, and a big shout out to you, Chair, uh, also Parasite. You're a big art buff. I have to say that. So, you know, listen, you're at the Stock Exchange, you're representing Adam Mocha yeah. Brands. I want to thank you so much for coming on no, here. Thank you. It was a pleasure getting to chat with you, and congratulations on all the amazing things Adam Mocha is doing. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. A Moment of Zen is brought to you by Animoca Brands. As a worldwide industry leader in digital entertainment, blockchain, and digital property rights, Animoca Brands plays a key role in the future growth of the open metaverse. During unstable times like these in burgeoning industries similar to blockchain, it's important to realize that blockchain can and will survive and eventually flourish and industry-leading companies like Animoca Brands will guide the transformation into the future. Animoca Brands will keep building a better and fairer Web3 ecosystem, create impact for better, and bring true digital property rights to all internet users through NFTs and the open metaverse. For more information and to become part of the excitement, go to animocabrands.com. That's animocabrands.com.